We start the countdown on the links at number 10 with the Central Boys Golf Team. The return to a norm in 2023 for the first time since 2016. Central qualified for the Region 1-6A tournament after their second place finish in the District 2-6A tournament, led by Colin Leonard, Miguel Flores Acton, and Brooks Vaughn. At number 9, the Sonora Bronco football squad had quite the season this fall. It was the third straight season being a district champion, all of which have been shared with other teams. The first back-to-back double-digit winning season since 2016-17, while making the regional semifinal for the second straight year under third-year head coach Blake Weston. Broncos picking up their 15th straight playoff appearance. We stay on the gridiron at number eight with the Wallhawks who continue their dominance on the football field. Back-to-back district champs for the first time since 2018-2019 and first double-digit winning season since 2016-2017. The team that went the furthest here in the Concho Valley made it to the regional finals for the second straight season. At number seven, the history books for the Central Boys and Girls Gymnastics programs added another chapter, 2023. The boys who were Seated eighth, finished seventh as their young program continues to grow. While the girls dominated day two of competition to pick up their fourth straight state title and 12th in program history. At number six, what a 2023 season it was for the Bront Lady Longhorn Volleyball Team. A trip to the regional tournament for the first time in 2019 was down to their last light before returning to down Klondike in five sets and defeating district rival Barry Best to advance to the state title for the first time since 2017. A team that will be forever remembered in Braun. At the halfway point, we head out to the pitch. It was a 2023 to remember for the Lakeview soccer programs. The boys had a perfect district record and an undefeated season for the first time in school history, finishing regular season play 20-0. The girls, a fourth straight district title for the Maidens, a 16-3-3 regular season that had never been done before. Safe to say the pride of the north side had a lot to be proud of. At number four, and back to the links we go, what a year for girls high school golf here in the Concho Valley. Four teams made it to state, highlighted by the three-peat for the Lady Hawks from Wall, winning the 3A title by five strokes. A day one lead turned into win it all, led by Shea West, who finished second individually in 3A. Keep your eyes out for the girls in green and white for a four-peat in 2024. At number three, we head to the hardwood in the 2023 season that will be remembered for what the Lady Hornets of Erie County accomplished. Their first trip to the regional tournament since 2017 fueled them to book their ticket to the state tournament for the first time in school history. A special group that Mertz in Texas has a lot to be proud of. At number two, we head to the Diamond and the Wall baseball team return to a place it hasn't been at since the 2019 season when they won their first ever state title as the Hawks return to Round Rock to compete for number two. In the semis, Wall took down the number one team in the state and although falling short in the title game, Wall returns a lot of talent in 2024 that looks poised and ready to return to Round Rock with redemption on their minds and bring home a baseball state title to Wall. And at number one, no real surprise about this one. We head back to the diamond to highlight the accomplishments of the 2023 Division II Baseball National Champions. I'm talking the Angela State Baseball Squad. After 19 years of blood, sweat, and tears, head coach Kevin Brooks brought back their first natty in program history, the first for the men's program in ASU history. Record-breaking year for the Rams, a 56-9 overall record, setting both the ASU and Lone Star Conference win records. Congrats to all of our teams here in the Contra Valley for making our job so fun in 2023. Can't wait to see what 2024 has in store.